What's up everyone? Welcome back. This is the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. Uh, today I'm changing the, uh, changing the oil on the Land Rover, so I figured that I'd uh, take a few minutes to talk about the Land Rover Discovery. Um, some things that I hate about it, and some things that I love about her. Um, yeah, so let's jump right into it. So I was going to do, uh, everybody usually does five things that they hate, um, five things that they love, whatever. Um, let's roll right into the things that I love about this vehicle. Number one, all aluminum body panels. Absolutely awesome because aluminum doesn't rust. So you got a scratch. I have a scratch that's um, all the way down to the actual uh, bare aluminum in the back and it's not going to rust. So that's an awesome plus. Um, awesome plus. Uh, number two that I like. Um, it's solid axles front and rear, so none of that independent front suspension or independent rear suspension, none of that crap. So it's got fully uh, fully braced axle housings or the pumpkin to the axle tube, fully braced and gusseted, awesome design, um, long trailing arms, so it might as well have uh, you know like a long trailing arm kit on it, uh, boxed frame, all that stuff is awesome. So the suspension is is incredible. Number three that I like. Um, is going to go into being able to lock the differential, so I can lock the differential. I can lock the front and the rear. Um, it's you know it's it's got a locker in it, so it is absolutely 100% capable off road. Um, number four, I love the I just love the look of them. I mean everybody always tells me that they love the look of these these Land Rovers and they think they're awesome. Um, they do look cool. They're very expensive though, um, but they do look cool. Um, I'd have to say number five is um, number five is going to be a hard one to, to find something that I like about it. I do like how this how the rear seats sit higher than the front seats, so it's kind of like stadium seating in the back. It's really kind of cool. Uh, the roof pitches up in the back, and then the second uh, sunroof is higher than the front one, and that that kind of stadium seating is really cool it does have a lot of room inside it is a big SUV so those are the five things that I love about it so let's get into exactly the five things that I absolutely hate about it so let's say the first thing that I hate about it is the V8 it's got a Bosch V8 in it um, I think this one's a 4.6 liter V8 Yes, 4.6 liters or 278 cubic inches. Um, it, it's kind of a gas guzzling hog. It's got secondary air injection on it, and it's an all, all aluminum V8. So I've been through and I've replaced the intake manifold gasket twice. Uh, I've replaced the head gaskets once, um, and I'm about to do it again because another head is leaking. It's just uh, kind of a piece of crap when it comes to that. This thing has 195,000 miles on it. Um, been through a couple crankshaft position sensors. Overall, the engine's been okay, but it's a Bosch V8. Um, I've had a lot of rough idle issues with this one. Um, coil packs and plugs and wires and coil packs and coil packs and coil packs. So I really am not a big fan of the, the engine. Number two, let's go over to the transmission. The transmission has a lot to be desired. So. Uh, I don't know the exact ratios on it, couldn't tell you the exact uh, details on that, but I do know that it's geared lower uh, for off-roading and stuff like that. And so it revs really high when you're cruising down the highway. Uh, most, For the most part, this is a road vehicle. Uh, I don't off-road it very often, but you're cruising at like 3,500 RPMs at 60 miles an hour. So you'll wind out at about almost 4,000 RPMs at 70 miles an hour, so you're guzzling gas. This thing gets about 14 miles to the gallon if you're lucky, anywhere from 12 to 14. Um, so that's uh, two things that I hate about it. The engine and the transmission, gas mileage and just overall the build. So number three, um, they went rugged in all the wrong places. So they did a lot of awesome things. This vehicle made it very capable off-road, but when it comes to the plastics and the leather boots inside, they have a synthetic leather on the boots that legitimately just that just wears away after time and it flakes off and you have black little crap everywhere. So that synthetic leather is garbage. Um, I'm pretty sure that the seats are synthetic leather as well. They look really nice when I bought it. It had about 40,000 miles on it and the lady I had bought it from had uh, seat covers on it. 
she had neoprene seat covers on it. Of course, I took them off. And within a couple, uh, couple thousand miles, 10,000, 20,000 miles, the seats were shot. You could tell that they were just too worn and you couldn't clean them anymore. They were absolute garbage. So the driver's seat's really worn out. The other seats are getting there. So um, I, I, I really do not like that. And they went chintzy on all the plastics and all the little uh, pieces inside that uh, really didn't hold up to the test of time. So this is a 2004, so we're going on 14 years of service, uh, almost 15 years here soon. So not a bad vehicle overall, but you know, it's just the little things where they went rugged in all the wrong places. So number four, I'm going to have to say that number four is the radio. Um, the radio is a cassette player. It has a remote DVD player, a five disc DVD player, or a CD player. You get what I'm saying. Um, it has an old Alpine uh, remote disc player, um, not too bad, but it has a cassette player. It's a 2004, and it comes with a cassette player, and it just has a lot to be desired there. It's like they never updated their system for the newer vehicles. Not a big deal. Um, number five is going to be cost of service. So legitimately everything on this vehicle is, is pretty easy to, to, um, to replace and things like that. Um, I've done a radiator. Radiator's four hundred dollars. Um, just depends on where you get it. Um, I've done a lot of like this headlight assembly here. The reason why this one's faded out and the other one's new is because hit a deer with it. It basically totaled the truck out. I mean, it was like fourteen thousand dollars worth of damage on just on the front clip of this thing. It hadn't even damaged the radiator when I, when the deer was hit. So. It basically totaled out the whole thing just because of a deer hitting the cl front clip. So, 14 grand and just the front bumper and stuff. One of the things that I told them not to replace so they wouldn't total the vehicle out was this headlight. The headlight assembly is $800. Now, why it costs that much um, is beyond me. I, I have no idea why that why it costs that much. But it's just the cost of maintenance. So, Land Rover, awesome all-around vehicle, very capable off-road, um, very cool looking. Um, maybe it's a, a status symbol, you know, rappers rap about it, blah, 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 you know, um, that they got a rover and everything, but man, if you, if you had to pay the dealership to work on this, um, it would be, it, it would be a pain in the butt. Same with the Mercedes. Um, anything that you take to the dealership nowadays that has all this crap, um, it really, it really would cost an arm and a leg to keep up with it. So, the, there's that. So that's my five things that I like and I dislike about the Land Rover Discovery. This is the uh, second generation. Um, the older generation uh, looks a little boxier. They rounded the corners on this one a little bit more with this. So I'm about to change the oil. Uh, I'm going to get down into that right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, as always, click subscribe if you like my content. Um, I don't know if I will uh, keep the video going or not. Might as well keep it going.